Now I'm going to talk briefly about how you can be used by God. In one way, everyone can be used by helping people experience the Holy Spirit. This is called experience God evangelism that God has given me. After I experience the Holy Spirit, and I pray for many people, if you spend time praying to God, loving God, you will have the presence of God. And then you pray for people. And when I start praying for people, I notice that I felt power stronger when I pray for people. And I ask them, did you experience anything? And some of them said they experienced peace or love or joy or burdens go away or healing. And then I told them the Bible verses. For instance, you can write this down. Isaiah 61, 1 to 3. Isaiah 61, 1 to 3. This is about inner healing. To heal the brokenhearted. To comfort all who mourn. And the oil of gladness. So that's Isaiah 61, 1 to 3. And then peace. Many people say they experience peace. In John 14, 27, Jesus said, Peace I give to you. And then the burdens go away. Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 to 30. All you who are weary and burdened, come to me and I'll give you rest. And then love, Romans 5.5. 5. The Holy Spirit pours the love of God into our hearts. That some people can experience His love. And then the comfort of the body. Many people say, I feel very light and comfort to my body. That's in Psalm 16 verses 8 to 9. That uh, David said that, I set the Lord in front of me. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices and my body will also rest secure. That the body will be in comfort. Many people experience that. And then also, sleep better. That's in Psalm 4, 8. I will lie down and sleep in peace. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. And then to drive out demons and bring healing. Mark 16, verses, starting verses 15 to 20. This is about the Great Commission. Go to all creation and preach the gospel. And all who believe and is baptized are saved. And then, miracles will follow whom? Miracles will follow the pastors? The miracles will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. The first time when I had this healing was when I had, was in a meeting. And I asked the pastor, can I pray for the people? He said, yes, and whoever wants to can come to you for the prayer. And after I prayed for them, I asked them, did you experience anything? And one woman jumped up and said, my back ache is healed. And the other woman jumped up and said, my shoulder ache is healed. And then they moved the body and said, wow, this is so wonderful. It's the first time it happened to me. And I said, wow, the biblical promises has come true. In the past, I thought it won't come true today. But now I know it can come to today. And after that, I have all kinds of healing. I even have one woman with cancer who had pain for over a month. And then she had breast cancer. And then I prayed for her. And then she felt some dark power left her body. And, and then she was filled with joy. And after the, after the meeting, she found that there was no more pain. And then she went back to the doctor and the doctor examined her and she had no more cancer. And I've seen different kinds of healing. And you too, don't think that you cannot. Don't think that you cannot. And then the Bible tells us that evangelism is not just by the Word of God. It's also with the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15 verses 18 to 19, you can write that down. Romans 15 verses 18 to 19. That by the power of uh, that, that Christ has, you know, accomplished through me, leading the Gentiles to obey God by what I've said and done, not just by what He said, but what He has done also, by the power of signs and miracles through the power of the Spirit. So, evangelism is not just by the Word, but also by miracles and, and, and signs and power of the Holy Spirit. And also, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 2 to 5, here it talks about that my, that my preaching, my speech and my preaching were not just with persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. So the Bible tells us that, you know, like Jesus and His disciples, and the book of Acts is not just by the Word of, you know, just not, not just by the Word of God, but also by the of the Holy Spirit. And you too can have miracles. Don't think that you can have miracles. But you want to spend more time praying to God. Open your heart to God. 
and loving God from your spirit. It's not just talking to God. Many people pray just with talking. But when you pray, worship in spirit and in truth, the whole spirit worship God. Oh Lord, I love you very much. I love you, I desire you. First with our soul, our soul includes the mind, the will, and the feelings. Then your whole mind agrees that God is the best. And your will, I make up my mind to give my life to Jesus. And also my feelings that I really like God, everything about God I like. I'm happy with God. And then worship in spirit. It's like your whole spirit ascend to God. You can start with this. You cry to Jesus, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And cry with your spirit, not just with the voice. Oh, hallelujah, from the spirit. And some of you might start to experience His presence more and more. And it takes time. And I'm happy to pray for some of you who are willing to stay behind and pray for you. And how do you use that evangelism? You can listen to someone, respond to them, hear about them and say, I know it's difficult for you, I know your life is difficult and you have this suffering or pain. And then you respond with empathy, you feel the feelings. And then you say, you share whether you have experienced something similar or someone else has experienced something similar. And experience the work of God. And then you tell them, I have been healed of this suffering or pain or, 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 or worry and burdens or depression. God has healed me and God has used me and God will bless you also. Do you like me to pray for you? And then if they're willing, you lay hand on them. And afterwards you say, you say, in Jesus' name, Amen. And then please keep your eyes closed. Have you experienced anything during the prayer? And then if the person says, yes, I've experienced peace, then you tell him. John 14, 27, Jesus said, peace I give to you. He experienced comfort to the soul. Then you use Isaiah 61, 1 to 3, that heal the brokenhearted. So whatever experience you tell them from the Bible, and then you say, God has blessed you like this. Do you like God to continue to bless you? And then if he's willing, then you tell him about the salvation of Jesus. I've brought many people to Christ like that. And I've trained many people to do that. And you too can have this power of God. I know my time is up. And, but do you have one person? I just want to demonstrate, pray for you. One minute, just one minute. You can come forward and let you experience just one minute prayer and people can experience God. And just to let you know, God is very real. Okay, let's stand up together and pray and ask God's presence to bless us. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise you and thank you. Lord, you love us so much. Your love is so great. Lord, help us revive our heart. Then we'll respond to you. Then we'll say, Lord, I like you. I, I'm happy with you. I'm thankful for you. I appreciate everything you've done. You are so wonderful, God. You are so wonderful. I love you. I desire you. I want more of you. Please, Lord, open our heart. That we live in your love. We are motivated by your love. We are touched by your love. We experience your love all the time. Help us to really have a great, good relationship with this loving God. God, you're so good. Help us to have this relationship with you. Then we know God is so good, God is so real. Open our spirit, Lord. Open our spirit to you. Help us to respond to you. Not just believe in you with our mind, but to really have a living relationship with you, that we desire you, we hunger for you, and we want to serve God. Because one day will ask us what we have done for you. And then for some, he'll say, you're a good and faithful servant. And then we'll be very happy to enjoy the happiness of God. But some will say, you are a lazy and wicked servant. Mm. If we have not done anything for Jesus, Lord Jesus, help us to realize that anything we do for Him, He's very happy. Help us to be motivated by your love and be willing to serve you, to be willing to be changed by you. Lord Jesus, help us to hunger for you, to see your goodness, to open our life to you. Bless our life, change our life. When we, our life is changed, then our life can do much for you and our life will bear fruit. Lord, help us change our life. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord. Hallelujah.
You know, it's very important. Your life can bear much fruit. You can do much for God. Don't be, you know, don't believe Satan's lie that you're nothing. You cannot do anything. You can do much for God if you give your life to Jesus. Now, I'm happy to pray for you to experience the Holy Spirit after the service. My main goal is to help you experience God and keep that experience to be filled with the Holy Spirit every time you pray. It's not just for healing. It's more for the transformation of your life that you know that you can have this intimate relationship with God. I hope you hunger for that and then you'll stay behind. God bless you.